This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically <clears throat> saw me die, did you? No, I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, then... No egg metaphors. Yeah. Oh, get down. Over here. Goddamn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risky the past up. remains intact. Stick to the Nothing plan. changes, and the Novikov self-consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high-five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. I'm surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. We have to go, Jack. We can't risk being spotted here. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Oh, shit, watch out.
Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. Well, thanks for the ride, Cap Guy. I hope you made it out of the university, okay? Wait a second. There. It's locked. You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the men came out. It was Paul. Tried to kill me. <clears throat> Damn. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. Just the way I left it. Hope it still works. Yeah. All right. We'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure. Before the fracture has stopped time permanently. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. Jack, when we exit, it'll be a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window, when we know it can work, but before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh, like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know they stole from me. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. All right, well. That works. This is amazing. All those years, I never imagined. Crap. Hang on, Will. Oh. What the hell did he do? Jack. 
I don't know how Will managed to get here, but forget it. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know. Never mind. Tell me later. We got work to do. I'll have to hook up the countermeasure to the core. It's designed to hypersaturate the Maya Joyce field with proton particles. The time machine's like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Let's make it happen. What do you need? The mesh's charge is low. We'll need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. Oh, 
of the entire goddamn universe. I got it. The countermeasure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. It's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Will. The countermeasure worked. Whoa. The countermeasure burned out. Should be stable now. Of course, I'll have to run a few tests to confirm. But this. Well, there's no reason to believe that the fracture isn't over. One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path, and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you. You've been very patient with us, and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well, that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. Right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. I thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own team, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious, and we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. 